It's another day. Tuesday to be exact. It is 9.12 in the morning. What am I listening to today? All Wired Up by Twang and Round. Jogga Boys Radio on Pandora. That is the music of the day. Yep, it is Tuesday, October 3rd, two days from my birthday. My birthday is on the 5th. Thursday this year. You never know how your birthday always falls on a different day, but for some reason there's always a like son of a There's always a common day that it seems to fall on more than any other day. And it's Thursday for me. I don't know why that is. But it is. So now I need to shave. Boy, I'm revealing my age. People see this hair and the gray coming in and huh, I need a haircut too. Only the sides in the back. I've had three haircuts in the last month and a half and each time I've never cut the top. Whoop, car coming. Better go. Each time I've never cut the top. I'm letting it grow for some reason. I have no idea why. I just am. But uh yeah, so any guess as to how old I'm going to be? I don't know. I've probably told you guys in videos before, but I don't know. Speaking of videos, I haven't watched a whole lot of videos lately. I've really, really downsized my list on whose videos I watch. There are a lot of people that I used to watch a lot of different videos. And a lot of guys just, they just changed the formats of their videos. I don't know, maybe they were thinking that the videos were getting boring or too mundane, too like, I don't know, that all their videos were the same. I don't know, but, and I think that way sometimes as well when I come up with different video ideas. But in general, my videos are all pretty much the same for the most part. But a, a, a lot of guys that I used to watch have really changed the style of their video and not shown as much mowing or, I don't know, different things like that. So I've stopped watching them all. I used to get alerts right to my phone of all my favorite channels. Every time they post a video, it'd, it'd ding right to my phone. So if it was during a time when I wasn't busy, I could just watch it. Or if, uh, if I was, then I'd have that alert and then I'd remember at the end of the day when I got home and I would watch it. But um, I just I've canceled all those alerts on a lot of people's videos because I just don't care to watch them anymore. I know it's not going to be the old style videos that I really liked, which was my reason for subscribing to their channel. Uh, some I've even unsubscribed to because I just don't care to see what they're putting out. Um, a lot of channels I've unsubscribed to, whether I like them or not, and it doesn't say anything about them. I still like the people that have the channels I've just unsubscribed to them because I'm sick of all the reviews I don't I don't want to watch that shit if I you know a review is nice once in a while if I'm looking for info on a certain product but to see 15 people do the same review and I've mentioned this before in my videos so I mean if they're putting out a lot of reviews I just unsubscribe to them it's nothing personal I just I don't want to see that crap and I don't want it clogging up my feed you know so I gotta flip through different videos for a half hour to find one that I'd like to watch so I've just gotten rid of all of them um, another thing I found out there were people that had mentioned before they have newer cameras that will film in 4k and my new Nikon camera that I never bring with me um, that one will film in 4k but I what I do I have the Roku stick that plugs in the side of my TV so when I'm watching videos, I just go to Amazon on my phone, I hit the cast button, and I send it right to my TV. And so when I'm watching people's videos, I very, very rarely watch them on a computer like my laptop or my phone. I watch everything on my TV because I have a huge flat screen TV and I just like to watch them on there better. I don't know. Maybe you guys do the same thing. I don't know. But uh, I... 
I found out recently that if somebody records a video in 4K, if your device that you're watching that on, like your phone, your laptop, your home computer, your TV, whatever, if that device is not 4K compatible, you're not going to watch that in 4K anyway. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they filmed it in 4K or not. You're not watching it in 4K because your device isn't 4K compatible. I never knew that. I didn't know that that was... I thought whatever they film it in, that's what you see it in. I didn't know. Maybe the information I was given was wrong, and maybe that's not the case. But from what I hear, that's how it goes. So if any of you guys have any info on that, you know, if that really is how it is, let me know. But I thought that was kind of crappy. These guys spend a lot of money on these, you know, cameras and really, really focus on this 4K and, you know, and upload it in 4K or whatever. I know when the higher definition you upload it in, the longer it takes to upload. I mean, so they go through all this stuff and probably 80% of their viewers can't even watch it in the format they're uploading it in. I thought that was kind of crappy, but... I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's just how it goes. But if any of you guys have any info on that, let me know. But uh, I'm just cruising through my day. Don't have a whole hell of a, I mean, I have my normal list, but nothing's bad and out of control. So I don't have to double cut anything. I'm only bagging what I want to bag. And uh, got to lock the truck up with this one. Um, so, you know, nothing's real serious right now. And... I can just kind of relax and cruise through my day, so that's what I'm doing. So that allows me time to film, so we'll see what else I can get filmed on this. I haven't decided if I'm going to upload today or maybe film a little more tomorrow and Thursday and just upload it all together. I finally decided I am going to letter my trailer. Many people have asked me, you know, over the last couple of years, why haven't you lettered your trailer? And uh, are you going to? And I wasn't going to, but I decided I'm going to do it. So I ordered all the vinyl that I need and I've got it already designed on my computer. So as soon as the vinyl comes in, I'll print out the vinyl and uh, and then I'll transfer it over to, or put it on transfer paper and I'll start laying it out, wash the trailer up and then I'll put the decals on the trailer and I'm gonna get that done. It's gonna be pretty neat. I did redo my website. Here's another thing. I designed my website years ago through Wix and it's a free website that you can, anybody can create a website and design it. But the thing is, once you do that, your email address is like HTTP semicolon slash slash www dot whatever your name is dot Wix dot com. So it's like a mile long. So they do that on purpose to push you to buying a URL, to buy a domain name. So I did, after a year, I designed one. It was countrysidelawncare.org is the one I bought. And I think it was like $5. What the hell was it? $5 a month you could do, or you could do a deal for like 30 bucks for the year and have your URL. Well, when that year expired, I forgot about it. So apparently they sent me an email telling me your URL is going to expire. Do you want to pay the money and redo it? And they copyright it so nobody can ever take it. Well, I had put it on all my business cards. I put it on everything and I forgot about it. Well, I went in this morning to check it out because somebody said, man, I typed in your your email or your website address and it took me to some hotels.com page. And I'm like, what the hell? So I went on and I'm like, oh my God. And I realized, so, <coughs> excuse me. So I went to the page to try to figure out what it is. Well, apparently when your, your URL, your domain address expires, if you don't renew it, they sell it. And there's a whole list on, on pages where you can go for URL names and it tells you what names are up for sale. And they sell it at a discount price so anybody can buy it out. So apparently somebody bought my URL name because it's copyright. Nobody can have it as long as I keep the membership up on it or the subscription on it. Once I don't, that copyright's out the window and anybody can take it. So apparently somebody bought my URL. So it takes you to a hotel page now. So anyway, I designed a new one and I paid for a three-year membership and it cost me like 70 bucks or something was the deal. I did that this morning. So now my website is countrysidelawn.me. You can pick from a million different ones. I was going to do countrysidelawn.guru 
um, dot expert. There's a whole bunch, but um, everybody always uh, comments on the license plates on all my trucks end in me. I don't know why that is, but for some reason they do, and it's pretty funny, and it's like a long-standing joke. So anyway, I saw that on there, so I picked that one. Nice and simple. So now it's Countryside Lawn. It's www.countrysidelawn.me. And if you type it into Google, it doesn't pop up. It tells you it's wrong, this and that. But if you type it in the search box at the top, it'll pop right up. My page is nice and simple. I've had a lot of people comment and tell me, man, it's so plain. You need to add more to it, this and that. Listen, I have I sent out a year ago, I like a year, year and a half ago, whatever it is, I sent out letters to over 121 of my customers. And I said, I would like feedback if you get a second go on and give me feedback. A couple of them didn't answer this blew it off whatever but um, over 80 percent of them replied we love your website it's easy it's one page it's simple it's to the point so many companies they got an about me page they have a pictures page they have a services page and you got to flip through all these pages and it's confusing and it's overwhelmed with paragraphs and paragraphs and paragraphs of information that nobody gives a shit about nobody wants to read and uh and so the general feedback of like out of all these customers and I even friends, family, everybody say, so, you know, you get us my neighbors, get a second, go on, just give me your feedback. Let me know what you think. And uh, everybody said the same thing. I was able to find exactly what I was looking for. Your services were right there. A little piece about you was right there. Um, the contact information, bam, right there. I didn't have to flip through page. I didn't have to sort through stuff. It was very simple, very to the point, very clear cut. In today's world, everybody is go, 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 go. It's 100 miles an hour or nothing. Looking to see who's who's the best or who's rated. They're going, bam, they type in lawn care, your area, and whatever the first one pops up, they pop it up, click on it, brings up your web page or whatever. They go with that phone number, they search for the phone number, find it, bam, they call you. If you don't answer, nine times out of 10, they don't leave you a voicemail. They hang up, they call the next one in line. They don't care about that shit. I'm telling you, credit to you guys that have a lot of money, a lot of time in your website. I mean, they're beautiful sites. I've a lot of guys that uh, that subscribe that I subscribe to. I've gone on and checked out your websites, and you guys have some beautiful websites. And I mean, Brian from uh, Ring Lawn Care, he creates websites for people, I believe, and he's done a few and uh, amazing work, amazing work. But um, you know, I think a lot of these guys live in bigger areas too, a lot bigger cities than I live in. I'm, I'm kind of small town community around here. So, you know, everybody's very simple and laid back around here. And it's just, uh, keep it simple is, uh, you know, that's what I try to apply to everything. KISS, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. You know, you start getting carried away. You start getting overcrowded. You start thinking it through too much. You start putting too much thought into it. You know, it never works out the way you want. Keep it simple and it usually flows is the way I look at things. But uh, but anyway, so that's uh, so that's my new website now, um, countrysidelawn.me. And I'm going to put that across the back, the bottom ramp door of the trailer. And I'm just going to put my logo on the sides, both sides of the trailer uh, with my phone number. And it's going to have, uh, and then it's going to have, my services below it which i'm not putting all of them on there i'm going to put uh the three i focus on pressure washing lawn service snow plowing so that's what's going to be on the sides with my logo uh, my logos are going to be roughly two foot tall by six foot long on each side and then uh five inches tall five and a half inches tall by about four foot long across the back along the bottom is going to be my website so and uh i have it set up now so, because now I have a thousand business cards, they have the wrong website address on there. But um, now I have it set up that uh, I will get an alert to my phone and to my email when that's about to expire. Because in three years, there ain't no way in hell I'm going to remember that. Um, but I don't want to make that mistake again. So, that's the case. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I love it when I... Doo -doo -doo. So one thing I love about my Square app, I email invoices, they go online, they pay them, and as soon as they pay that invoice, I get an alert right to my phone. I know when they pay their bill. It's a beautiful thing when they pay it online. So, 
Ba -ba -ba -ba. So that's that. All right, enough of me talking. We'll get some more mowing on here.
turning into a lawn care vlog. What? I can't see anything through there. Can you see? Can you see anything through there? Yeah. Grab another pair. <laughs> Those are worse. a few different angles of that property I always use two different mowers on that property um, the two sections you saw me cut with the walker well the first two sections it'll well the first section it'll look like it's two different sections but it actually just makes an L so I had to move the camera but it's actually one section but it's not very wide at all and there's the road on one side and the parking lot with cars on the other side so do it with the walker I have done it with the X mark with the plate on the side I really don't like that plate in a bind it'll get you out of a bind but it, I don't like it I don't see how so many guys use it I mean Johnny from blades of grass he's got it on all his X mark bandages and he loves it it works great for him and all it does it doesn't matter even if I'm only taking off a little bit of grass it, it just leaves clumps everywhere I just don't like the way it looks you know, and I don't know, maybe it's because he has a completely different type of grass down there. But, you know, a, a lot of guys do it. And I just got to go over it two and three times, and it's just a pain in the ass. So, I can actually, in that small part you saw, the patch right in front of the main building there with the sidewalk and then the flower bed, it, um, I can actually fit the Tiger Cat through there with the 52 inch deck and the big blower off the side. It's tight, but it'll do it. it I've done it a few times, so I, I can take care of that area as well with the Tiger Cat. Um, so I usually bring, like on Tuesdays, I'll usually bring the Great Dane because I have a bunch of properties where it's just wide open. I don't need to bag it. Um, like the big area you saw me do there. So I'll do that with the Great Dane and then I'll just switch to the walker and use the walker to do the other parts. No big deal. Quick and easy. Um, that flower bed you, that was in between the sidewalk. Well, there's a the grass area and then there's the sidewalk and the flower bed and the building you saw in that last part. I have trimmed all them bushes twice this year and they need it again. Um, I have remulched that entire thing. I have re-edged the whole thing. I have weeded it, I don't know how many times. And it, it's just out of control. So what I actually do now is I charge them an additional $10 a week on top of their normal mowing price. And I pull the weeds in the flower bed. It takes me less than five minutes because I stay up on it from week to week. I pull them, I throw them in the grass area, then I run over it with the walker and bag them up. Um, and that was the better deal for them because there's no way you can you can get it. That flower bed has been sprayed with everything. Um, the problem is the company that took care of it before me, and I have a handful of properties like this, and you know, friends of mine, the same thing. And it's always the same companies that had the properties before us. When they get called in to weed out a flower bed and to lay mulch they instead of pulling the weeds they weed whack it and they scalp it down to dirt and then throw the mulch on well that doesn't get rid of the weeds and it takes the seeds that are in the tiny little roots and the tiny little pods of the weeds it takes all the seeds that are in there and it spreads them right across the flower bed so now your small weed problem is a massive weed problem and the overgrown shit that is in that flower bed is called morning glory. Morning glory, it, it's like ground cover. It spreads like wildfire. That shit will grow in concrete. It'll grow anywhere. It's a nightmare to get rid of. And you can put down fabric paper. That stuff's garbage. Garbage. Any flower beds I've ever done that wanted paper down, I use Mirified. It's a type of fabric paper, it kind of feels like plastic, that you put down under parking lots, under roads, under driveways. Water still passes through it. It's the only thing I have ever used in 19 plus years of being in this industry that will fight off weeds. 
doesn't doesn't matter. You know, if the weed problem is that bad, it's the only type of paper that will prevent them from coming back up through. So, and then you'll still get a little bit that'll come up through around the holes you cut in it to go down over the bushes. So I pretty much told them you have two choices. I can gut that entire flower bed out of there, rip out all of your plants, uh, bushes, everything, and completely spray, kill everything off, let it sit for like two to three weeks, put plants back in, remulch everything, and go from there. And then you'll be good, which is gonna cost you a lot of money. So it's either that, or we can add an additional $10 on a week and I can weed out your flower beds every week when I come to mow it, and I can stay up on it from week to week. So they wanted to go with that option. I've been doing that for about a month now and they are more than happy with it. Um, but that's what happens when you get hack, half-ass companies that come in just to do a flower bed. They're in a hurry, they don't care. They come in, they knock it out, they get paid and they're down the road with their money. They don't care what it looks like in a week, in a month, the following year, they don't care. So, but there's ways around it where I can make more money and make it worth my time. So that's what I do. So that's the verdict with that one. I just tried out this new pizza joint that is along my route. Oh, look at this size cardboard thing. Almost all pizza joints around here. I don't know if that's common. If you get slices, they throw them on a sheet like that. Usually that's cut in half and they fit two of them on there. In most places I go to, but they use a full one here and the two pieces I got took up that whole sheet. It, uh, I got a plain cheese and I got a chicken figure. The chicken figure was a little bit hot, but I, uh, I always get corner slices. Those are my favorite. I love pizza dough. But anyway, look at this thing. What the hell am I gonna do with this? Throw it away. Use it as a shoot blocker, huh? Put it on there, it might last for, I don't know, three, four passes. Hey, Brian from Top Notch used a license plate. In one of his videos, it shows a license plate to the side of one of his decks. It's flipped around backwards. Use what you got.
ranchers. Cherry. We'll go with cherry. I'm like repeating everything I say. I don't know what's up with that. But that front yard, I know I've showed that before in a couple videos. The strange thing is, I have to bag that lawn every week. Okay? If I don't, I'm at least double cutting it. Remember, the next week it's even freaking worse. 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 It's even worse. It's badder. Okay? Because when you double cut a lawn, I get away with double cutting a lot of lawns in the spring. It's because their growth is just crazy because of spring. The problem is, some lawns have crazy growth because they're over fertilized which I have a handful of lawns like that and I do charge accordingly. I don't lose my ass on them like I used to. I put that fee in there knowing it's gonna happen. Whenever I take on a new lawn, the first thing I do is ask them, do you have this lawn fertilized? Because I know what's coming. So, because 90% of the companies around here, they all over fertilize, way more than they freaking need to. It's not rocket science, it's really not to see how much your a lawn needs fertilizer and what chemicals need to put, be put down when. It's not freaking rocket science. So, when you get into like weed killers and stuff like that, then you know, there's a lot to learn about it. There's a lot to it. What'll kill certain weeds, what products in the market are shit, and which ones are good just like anything else you buy. But anyway, so I'm getting off track here. The point is, the ones that fertilize and over fertilize that spring growth is out of control it grows a lot okay now if you just start double cutting that lawn every week it's only a few cuts before you ain't breaking it all up with a double cut you're either cutting it a third time or you're using a blower to break it up or to spread out what's left because when you double cut a lawn if you just cut it once and you know, you're mulching up, all the grass falls back down into the grass that's there and you can't see it and you're good to go. That's great, it's perfectly healthy for the lawn. When you have to double cut a lawn, because that lawn is so thick and it's grown so tall, you cut it once, a lot of the grass disappeared, but there's still a lot left, so you cut it again and break that grass up even more. When you come back the following week, that lawn is going to be thicker than it was the previous week it's gonna be taller is it good for the lawn yeah obviously because it's growing and it's thick and it's green but you're just making it harder on yourself so with that lawn there and a few other lawns I have I just back just back around waste time I don't it doesn't take any longer to bag it than if I had to double cut as a matter of fact I can bag the lawn and be out of there faster than double cutting much less cutting it three times so you know you got to be you got to be smart you got to know your laws and you got to know what will work and what won't and where you're going to save yourself the time the stress the heartache that's why i have mowers at back like my fares i have a grass catcher for it i only use it if i absolutely have to grass catchers don't hold that much grass they almost never fill up all the way. The mouth of it right where it's at the deck will clog up. It'll pack up and sit there before the whole big part of it even gets full. Grass catchers are a fucking waste if you ask me. Um, the only one I ever found that is good and I'd recommend to anybody is the accelerator. An accelerator full of wet grass is lighter than a grass gobbler empty. So... I mean, it's definitely the, be the best grass catcher, hands down, but still, even those fill up at the mouth before the whole rest of it fills up. So, I have that, I have the walker, and then I have the tiger cat with the three-stage bagging system and a big blower unit on the side. So, I almost always have at least one bagging mower with me, just for that reason. But, that lawn there, today... I mowed the entire front lawn, both sides of the driveway, and half of the back lawn before the hopper filled up on the walker. That's awesome. 
because usually a lot of times I'll get done with just the front lawn and it's full. And then the back lawn, sometimes I can get away with the whole back lawn filling at once, sometimes it's once and then like a quarter way the next time. That's how much that lawn grows. There's a lot of times in the beginning of the year that front lawn, I'll fill that hopper. The hopper's damn near 10 bushel. I'll fill that hopper twice off the front lawn alone. That's how much it grows. So, and like I said, I charge for it. I, I already know. I've been mowing that lawn for years. I screwed myself the first year. And the next year I said, listen, I got to raise it. And he said, yeah, I know. It, it's fine. Do what you got to do. So, it, uh, you know, it is what it is. If they don't want the price increase when you realize what it's going to take, drop them. Drop them. Don't worry about losing the yard. There are a million more yards out there. Drop them. You're just screwing yourself. So, you know, if you cost yourself more money, more time, more heartache, and it's only a matter of time before you get to the point where on that particular day, you're on your way there, and you're like, I hate this damn lawn. I don't want to go this lawn. I know what's going to happen when I get to this lawn. And, and then you just stress yourself out and it's not fun anymore. So you get in a situation like that, raise the price. Don't be a jerk off and freaking rob them. But raise it to be fair. Most people will understand that. If they don't, drop them. Tell them, say, I'm sorry then, you know, I'm going to have to let you go. You're going to have to find somebody else. I just, you know, it's not worth it for me to do this lawn anymore. I've done that before and people have said, you know what? Okay, just, just go ahead and raise it because they're really happy with the work you've been doing. But I've had the one say, okay, well, sorry, I'll find someone else. I'm like, see you later. Bye. So, yeah, that's that. I don't know if I'll record any more today. I recorded quite a bit. We'll see what happens. This may be the end. If it is, see ya.